time for Power Rangers Bees Morphers. Anyways, episode 25, game on. Inquiry, of course, is the inquiry. So, well, we started at the very beginning, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, it really is funny. So, well, eventually I was like, oh, sh okay, well, let's start with the very beginning. So, we start with the video game. Apparently, it's a video game tournament, and it's kind of like as if it was technically Kamen Rider Gaim, for anyone who knows what that is. So, they have holograms, and it use hard lights and stuff like that, and we have the girl, which they said her name, and I forgot, <laughs> and then we have Devin, which that matches Devin, because Devin is a, he likes video games. We even know that in the very first episode. So, that makes sense. So, anyways, it's the finale of course, yes, the finale, these two, whoever wins, wins it. And it's like, oh, that's awesome. And well, then we have the fight going on. And <clears throat> of course, we have Nate. It's like, that's what's killing you is Nate. It's like I said it in the preview review. As long as no one explains anything, girl, you're fine. But nope, Nate tells everything, which makes her redundancy redundant, which is like, oh, that sucks for you. All oh, that sucks. And it's kind of funny because he was it, like, that worked perfectly fine. What Nate was doing is perfectly fine because then you have Evox, AKA Devin's dad, sneaking off, being like, hey guys, I think I found something awesome. Come down here right quick. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, I think the girl actually cheated. I don't know, but it's like, she didn't even say, like, special move. And it's like, what? It's like, you would figure. Devin knows about special moves, so I think she cheated. Pretty sure she kind of might have cheated. And then we have, of course, before the preview review, we get, yeah, we get Devin, I mean, we get Blaze and Roxy shows up. She He takes her controller. Oh, yeah, and they also destroy those two because it was one-to-one, -one and she was about to win. And it's like, I just like, no, I'm pretty sure he won one and she won one i don't know either way i think it was a tie and the tie got broken because well <laughs> they're under attack and the worst part has to be the fact of the kid in the freaking um handicap stuff because he doesn't know how to freaking walk with those he just swung as if he's a freaking damn monkey on those and it's like what the frick <laughs> it's like what the frick no no it's like how the frick south park knows how to get that down but you don't and it's like it's a kid show it's like even show it's like but you just showed the kids that hey if you see anyone who uses those they swing like a monkey <laughs> using those it's like oh my gosh that's some messed up information you got there it's not important, but still, it kind of sort of is, you know, it's like you just introduced a stereotype to them. So anyways, we got the whole preview review. I already mentioned all that. And then uh, apparently multiplayer mode and um, Gamertron. And of course, the girl being redundant, even though it's like what she should have just said is, whoa, that is freaking awesome. But considering she apparently is not cheating and that was like a signature move or some kind of crap. I'm pretty sure that was cheating, but freak it. Just freak it. <laughs> the only other extra thing to touch upon is the fact of they didn't use the copy suits. The suits that happen in a TV special in the Super Sentai. But I bet they're using it for later. If they're not using them for later, then it sucks because they could have used them right now. But okay, fine, sure. Okay, I can't wait to watch this because I enjoy Ranger versus Ranger, Clone Rangers versus Rangers. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, that was a lot to blow up. But anyways, so I was wondering, so you continued on. Her name is Carrie. Apparent for some reason, she kept on following and looking. I'm like, what the hell you think you're doing? What the hell you think you're doing? She's just looking. She's actually apparently observing him. And it's like, oh, okay, sure. So... Crazy enough, we actually had a first time where they retreated. And then, it, now this feels so much like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but it's not a stab or anything. This is actually a nice little, my hat tips off to you, or should I say my helmet? Because it's like, it's the watching the original one, but they're technically doing just something that makes sense, which is they retreated, then they looked at the console, the Somewhat handheld. I don't know what to call it. 
but they looked at it and they're going to actually figure out some way to figure out how to defeat those guys because, oh my goodness. And then we actually got a little report and apparently the, it went to the Riptide gym. Apparently they're going to, first they're going to give Devin the reward, but then because, well, Carrie's controller is gone. And then after that, he decided to actually be like, yeah, well, I have an extra one, so here you go. We can actually do a rematch. Yep, and then after that, she after that they returned, and it turns out that there is nothing that he can learn from the controller. And Carrie actually is like, she actually went there to talk to the Rangers to tell him something. So it's been revealed, and was I correct? Somewhat. She wasn't hacking. It's the fact that there was a bug in the system, a special move, or something like. If there's special moves, then shouldn't Devin know because he's actually a master at the game? But apparently this was just a move slash a bug in the system where apparently if you press slash in the left, slash in the right, and then one big slash, that actually freezes the opponent. <laughs> yeah, we wonder what the frig is going on. It's the fact of, oh, that's the special move she has. And it's like, hmm. It's kind of messed up that he didn't learn about it. You'll figure everyone around the world knows about that move and he would have already use that move beforehand. But instead, no, it was a bug. So apparently now we get the sob story of I didn't mean to. I saw it by accident and I had no choice because apparently my brother, he got hurt in the soccer game and I want to actually pay for his bills. And the only way to do it is by winning the tournament. And I had no choice. And it's like. You, what the frick is this <laughs> oh side note we also got ben and betty showing up and the good news is that the thing that happened with them was not that bad <laughs> it wasn't that bad at all it was very subtle which means the freaking climate cluo is not involved whatsoever in this freaking episode and if so then Thank goodness they toned it down, but they toned it down, but yet they did redundancy again, the redundant tool. They brought it back, but they look at the cost of lowering the freaking uh, funny stuff, which is like, can't we keep both down? It's like, yeah, don't need redundancy at all. And we don't really need that laughing part at all in there either. So, yeah, that's basically what happened is that and it's like, wow. He's like, no, no, we can't freaking make it innocent to where it's like, oh, she had a reason to do it. She had a reason. It's like, oh, yeah, she had a reason. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. She had an innocent reason to do it. I'm like, oh, well, you, it's like, don't we wish that the girl who was trying to freaking screw over Nate and stuff had a good reason for it? It's like all of a sudden now she has to have a good reason for doing it. So basically they go against the uh, Gamertron and what's funny is that the Gamertron was going to take over a freaking truck that had a lot of consoles in it. That was pretty crazy. So when against the Gamertron, when against the clones, it's bittersweet. I love episodes like this, but it's bittersweet. It took out the clones and then took out the Robotron and then the Giga Drone showed up. Apparently it's able to make a big dome and absorb all the Morphex in that dome. Eventually they took it down. As soon as they took it down, then we get to the game. Back to the um tournament. And this time around, she actually played fair and square, even though the brother was like, do it, do your secret move. So she lost, but even though she lost, he gets to keep a trophy. She gets the money. Happy ending. Not to mention, wait, hold on. If she gave information to Battle Grid to help stop technically the Robotron. Shouldn't she have gotten rewarded handsomely from that too? Not to mention, even though it's this, this universe, not our reality. Reality, you're not going to get any money by pointing out a bug. But I bet in there, in that reality, there, in there, there, their universe. Pretty sure if you tell them, hey, there's a bug, they most likely would have paid you money for it. Just saying. But anyways, yeah, so she gets to have the money and not to mention Ben and Betty show up a second time. This time, at least Ben is smart. Betty's stupid. Betty actually fell in love with the hologram and tried to actually get to know the hologram or basically their game thing. And well, it's one sided because it's programmed just to dance. 
Why is she an idiot? Meanwhile, he just turned it off instead of actually doing fisty cuffs. And it's like, yeah, that would have been stupid. <laughs> you know, just have him f just in his punches go through him. And then he accidentally hits the freaking console itself. And there you go. It's been smashed. But anyways, yeah, it ends nicely. Besides um, Devin, in quotations, Devin's dad, Evox, he's coughing, <clears throat> went outside. He turned back to Evox. And then he teleported away. There you go. That's the whole entire thing. Where's the real Devin's dad? Where's the real mayor? We'll have to find out next time or sooner or later. But still, it's kind of messed up, though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's messed up with the whole bug thing. And she was cheating. I kind of called it. But anyways, yeah, there you go. I got to go.